welcome back. This is not really a building, a model railway in a garage. I am looking at this. Now for some of you, some of you may have seen this beastie. I've seen these around CMX. Um, a lot of people use them. Everyard Junction uh, showed his going around. I thought, well, as at the time, I had a outdoor layout which was temporary. Uh, it was on a baseboard. It was stored in the garage like this, but it was on its side. Uh, we had guinea pigs and it got remarkably dirty. And I wanted something that I could go around and just clean up the tracks. So the 37s that I've got from Backman, they're super powerful and they can push this thing around. No problem. I mean, you could double head it if you wanted to, but I'm not, they can push it around. It's brilliant. However, the issue that I have is it does not go over the Hornby, whatever you want to call them, uncouplers, re-railers, it will not go across them. You can push it across with your hands, which is fine, but if you're trying to, you can probably push it over with a couple of 37s, that's not a, not a problem, although it doesn't actually have any buffers, so all the stress goes on actual, goes onto the, um, I don't know if I can get it to focus rather than on my head, on here. So this still has no buffers on it, so all the pressure goes in on the KD, which is probably not a great idea, but it doesn't, doesn't push over very easily. And the hidden sidings are gonna be a problem, um, to be perfectly honest, because they're gonna be hidden by the name, suggests that they're hidden. And the other issue is how the hell do I clean them? Now I can, of course, make the front um, removable. So the retaining wall, whatever scenery, I could probably make it so I can lift it out. That's fine, I will do that. Uh, and I will probably have to use the classic track rubber to do that as well. But um, I thought about um, something like this. I had a Hornby version, which had those kind of skis that went along. Um, I'm kind of hoping that this, the uh, Pico, and it's from the Gauge Master collection because it's obviously got the network rail on it, will go across. And that's what I'm gonna try out in this video. I'm gonna get a 37 now and I'll run it down. As you probably saw in one of the previous videos, I've got all these laser detectors down there. So will this fit between the laser detectors? I hope it will, because that's where I've got the problem. You would probably have seen the class 20 would not come out of that siding. It was stuck firm because of dirty track. And it is, let's be frank, in the worst position. So let's see if this puppy, this wagon, whatever you want to call it, is gonna go down there and do the work. Okay, so the nice thing is it already comes assembled. So the pad is already on, which is fantastic. Uh, the detail's pretty good, actually, considering it's just a transfer of paint on there. Looks pretty good. Weights are actually pretty reasonable, to be fair. Um, it's also got them pockets, so I can move those, put KDs on if I wanted to. So I guess the moment of truth is, will this go over? those ramps with my 37. Let's see what happens. So I've got my 37, I've got a EWS wagon stuck in between, mainly because the 37s have got KDs and I couldn't be bothered at the moment to find a KD and tweak it to necessarily to work. So we've got it in, I've set it up, I'm just gonna check the direction, we're just changing it around and we are now gonna go back and ooh, I've managed to uh, do something. See if I can get it to go over this. And the simple answer is, no, it will not go over that ramp. Uh, and it's stuck, absolutely stuck. So the answer to that is, it is not gonna get over there which is really annoying. I was hoping it would go over. I did read somewhere that somebody said it would go over those, but obviously they were telling some form of porky pies. So that's on, let's just see if I was to, no, definitely will not go over. It's mainly because of the way that the, I guess the re-railing works. It just snags 
on there. So obviously I can manually put them over here each and every time and run the trains down. So I'm gonna just stick it on there for the time being and I'm gonna run it down the end. So there it is. I'm gonna run it all the way down the end now and see if I if it takes out <laughs> any of my laser toys I've got down there. I'm not going to go in there too quick because I'm worried that it might take out all that hard work I've done. So I'm going to watch what happens. It's got in there. There you go. So it has actually managed to get all the way in. So I'm just going to bring the 37 out. <laughs> it's detached. Uh, okay. That is not brilliant. Let's see what's going on. To be honest, I'm not quite sure why that did that. We will just put that back in, see what happens again, see if it detaches. Managed to turn the sound off, so no, that's a bit of a weird one. So the good news is it does go all the way to the back. The bad news is I can't get anything over the ramps, which is rather annoying. I must have pressed the F1 button by accident there. So I guess the question is going to be, yes, I'll keep it. It would be handy to have something else that I can run around the layout. The CMX does a really good job. That may be what I have to push down in and out of the area. Uh, maybe I will need to add a hatch sort of somewhere around here so that I can kind of remove uh, and put the cleaner in underneath so I can put the cleaner in and it can go up and down and clean the track up and down, up and down. That is the only solution that I really have available at the moment. But all in all, there you go. Um, cost me £35. It hasn't worked out. Yeah. I, I'm considering, I was considering taking out, taking the Hornby things out, taking them out. But to be fair, I do think they are of use. Because if anything comes in, and it's derailed, these will help it on the way out or on the way down the sidings. I think, yeah, leave me a comment. What do you think? Do you think I should take them out, cut my losses, or are they a worthy thing to have in there? Or is it just worth putting one sort of at the entrance to it all? Um, although I've done all that lovely work, um, it would be a bit of a pain. I don't know where I'd squeeze it in because it's, it's kind of a bit of a continuous curve in as it is, so maybe, maybe not. Anyway. Again, thanks so much for watching this um, little bit of a different video just about this Pico Gauge Master Network Rail liveried track cleaner. I'm hoping it will help me to do stuff in the future, but maybe it's not, it's not what I wanted. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's a, a bit of a shame. Uh, I have got a third potential option, which was somebody put a video out on, I'm rambling now, but put a video out of converting a Lima oil wagon with a couple of bolts on it and some balsa wood. And apparently that gets over with balsa woods is quite good at, at cleaning. So that could be my only uh, true option. So now I've got to find a old fashioned Lima 00 that apparently you can rip the, the tank unit off quite easily. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like and hit the notification bell to be told. So once again, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be 
you know, notified by YouTube. Send an email every time I post a future video. And also check out the show, no show more notes below for my Instagram, Facebook page, and whatever else I'm doing. Uh, I think I've got a list of tools down there now as well. Um, so thanks very much, and hope to see you again at the next video. Goodbye for now. Stay safe. Bye.